very good morning students today's class the topic that we are doing is electrolytic refining of copper now this refining is the last step in metallurgy when you are wanting to extract a metal during those steps the last step where you get a pure metal is refining now this particular metal can this particular method can also be used for zinc is for your information let's begin with the construction the construction of the cell is as shown here this electrolytic means you are going to use electricity and you need a battery for this fine so this is your negative terminal while this is your positive terminal therefore this is the negative terminal and this becomes your positive terminal according to the battery that you have connected it to now the negative terminal is a thin pure strip of copper or zinc whatever you are trying to extract whereas this is your impure block of copper fine the one that you have to purify since this is connected to the negative terminal this becomes the cathode while this is your anode this is the key just to connect and start the process now when we begin with this process you also require an electrolyte the electrodes are anode is your impure block of copper cathode is your pure strip of copper and the electrolyte has to be a soluble salt of metal to be refined which means this i have taken is a copper sulfate aqueous solution we add a little bit of acid for better conductivity and more solubility of copper sulfate so to increase the solubility of copper sulfate you require acidic medium in the electrolyte now when you begin with the process what exactly happens in this process this is the positively charged terminal this is the negatively charged terminal now in the impure block of copper and in the solution in the solution you already have copper to positive ions and sulfate to minus ions from the electrolyte now when the reaction begins what is observed is that from the impure block copper moves out as copper ions and goes into solution now the more reactive metals move into the solution by oxidation which is the reaction that takes place in this case is at the anode you would by default always have oxidation and oxidation refers to loss of electron this is something which you should always remember tham rule hai anode pe hamesha oxidation and oxidation is loss of electron so your copper solid will lose electrons to electrons lost and will become copper to positive ions and ions are soluble so i put a aqueous so copper moves continuously goes on moving out ka matlab ye block will start thinning ye chota hota jayega patla hota jayega this will reduce because the copper ions are moving out from it now what happens at the cathode then cathode pe always you have reduction and reduction always means gain of electron that's the thumb rule wherever there is reduction it would be gain of electron so what exactly happens in this case is your copper two positive ions from the aqueous medium which is blue accepts the two electron now where do the you get these two electrons from these two electrons are coming from here from your battery so the two electrons move from here and the copper accepts the two electron to become copper solid which is reddish brown in color so your copper ion from the solution goes and deposits here the copper ion from the solution goes and deposits here and copper ions are moving out from the anode and are continuously depositing on the cathode so your cathode would go on becoming thicker and thicker with pure copper on it whereas from the impure block 
the pure copper moves out what are we left with we are left with impurities which are less reactive the less reactive impurities start to fall down and they start getting collected here now this impurity collection here is called as the anode mud now this anode mud has a very high importance surprisingly hai to mud but kyu important hai because it consists of gold platinum silver also some precious metals like antimony selenium but out of these the more important ones are gold and platinum because they are precious and because of their cost they help to recover the cost of electrolytic refining any process which requires electricity is costly and to cover up the cost this is the anode mud which is of help to us because it gives you the precious metals which have a high cost so by selling these metals out you can recover the cost of refining in the electrolytic refining of copper is that fine so what you should know is what is the electrolytic refining of copper it involves electric current what is the construction always remember the word anode mud is my advice if you remember anode mud you would always remember that the impure block is the anode the positive terminal has to be the impure block so ultimately what is happening this would start decreasing in size while this would start increasing in size and you would get a thick block of pure copper on the cathode side the same process can also be used as for zinc so for electrolytic refining you require the basic principle involved is more reactive elements ionized to go into electrolyte like your zinc uh, sorry like your copper ions while less reactive also called as less basic do not go into solution are found in the anode mud fine that's it so in case you are struggling with the metallurgical processes please go and have a look at my channel seema maki jani is the channel chemistry made easy for you under the category of general principles of extraction and metals and non metals class 10 now if we are talking about class 11th this topic of class 11th is in general principles of extraction the agenda was if you have more reactive impurities also present for example in this process you also have a zinc 2 positive ion then what if you also have an fe2 positive ion then what in case you have zinc 2 positive ion or you have fe2 positive ion in comparison to copper 2 positive ion then what exactly happens is it is this which is less basic this would undergo reduction and you would get your copper while these are more basic or these are more reactive they tend to remain in the electrolyte they will not be produced or deposited at the cathode with this i conclude my topic of electrolytic refining of copper there are other methods of refining in class 11th which are zone refining mons process van arkels process chromatography liquefaction etc they are all under the playlist of general principles of extraction please go to the playlist like share and subscribe if you are understanding the way i teach thanks a ton do well in life stay blessed please stay safe